Okay. Now, assuming we have a class of, let's say, 20 students. So we have a class of 20 students, okay? And an award is supposed to be given to the student. Maybe we get to an art class. An award is supposed to be given for a literature student, um, let's say, economic student. And then we have, let's say, geography student, okay? Now, if we move to this arts class, maybe there's a condition that if one person wins an award, the person cannot win another award again. Everybody's entitled to only one award, and there are only three awards, and the students are 20. Now, when you are asked, in how many ways can the award be given? Or in how many different ways can we... The house fly too, they can't worry mankind for here. No gain is Adam Bia will go fit to back up. <clears throat> so the award of literature, economics, and geography can be awarded to only one student. That's the condition. Okay? So if we want to award for literature, economics, and geography, now in how many ways can we award the literature? We shall have 20 ways. Now the next person to take the award. Then, if the person wins an award, the person can't take another award again. So it will be 19, then times what? 18. So this will give us a number of different ways we can select the uh, three people. Then, if there's another condition which says that a student can win more than what? One award. So that one will be 20 times 20 times 20. Okay? That will give us another figure altogether. So that means a student is eligible to win all the awards, okay? So that person can win. We have 20 times 20 times 20. So let's solve um, some more examples under this. Press force. You need to help me. Just